I was talking earlier about symmetry and the nipples and and uh, placing things. Now, what we're looking at here is the layout we've done. The one thing I want to point out is a few things you may you may think, wow, that's perfect. That's a nice shape. It is, but if you look here, the wall is a little bit thicker than the foundation here. And the uh, the power nipple here is protruding out from the wall. So they make the object less symmetrical. And obviously the water extractors are out the back here. This setup here, this whole setup can be pasted here and it fits perfectly uh, if I had another row, if like this this row here, this length here is one foundation. So if the next set here, it fits perfectly. If you built this in game, like you didn't need to do it in the calculator, it would all fit perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a symmetrical shape. And what do you mean by that? So what we're going to do is I'm going to put foundations on the outside edges of the object. And then that makes the, the shape bigger overall, but it makes it a perfect uh, rectangle. It will be a perfect amount of mathematical units, width and height, or X and Y without walls adding a little bit more or power nipples adding a little bit more or that sort of stuff. So all I'm going to do is go in game. So now this is the outer edge of this part of this side. And I'm going to repeat this on all four corners. And then, like I said before, out here. Now, this is something to be aware of. I accidentally placed a foundation underwater then. That foundation, you're like, ah, oh, that won't matter. That actually will get selected in the copy and paste and change the depth of your copy and paste and make things even more complicated. A clean build for a blueprint or a copy and paste process is absolutely necessary. All right, so this one here is the corner piece. So now our, when we load that in the calculator, that should be 22 by 11. Let's have a look. All right, so now we can see this is a clean shape. There's nothing outside of here. When I copy and paste this, what I want to aim for is getting these on here. There's a couple of things I'm going to do here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to select uh, copy selected items and go submit. Now I can go to the import export a blueprint and I can download this as a blueprint and this saves this as blueprint calculator.cbp in your downloads folder or wherever your downloads go. The next step, part seven, shows how you can add foundation helpers to the map and use those to paste the contents of the calculator clipboard onto the map. Part six and seven are copy and paste operations, meaning you have copied objects into the clipboard 
and then paste them onto the same map. Now that you have a blueprint created, you can load it back into the calculator at a later date and paste it onto a foundation or use the original location. You could also share this blueprint on the Satisfactory Calculator Interactive Map for others to download and use. Part 8 demonstrates how you can paste a blueprint onto your map from a blueprint you have created or downloaded, as it is not the same method in Part 7 where it already exists in the clipboard. Part 9 demonstrates how you can paste a blueprint into the original location. This is different as you are not pasting onto an existing foundation.